Welcome back. Welcome back. You're listening to Whistle Wednesdays here on AM 1170, The Answer. My name is Kyle Whistle, your host with Whistle Realty, joined as always by Mr. Jason Hall and our special guest today, Dina with Tone Fitness. Again, if you want to connect with Dina, give us a call, shoot us a text, 619-663-SELL, 619-663-7355. Dina, I know you got an event coming up. Tell our listeners about this event. On Sunday down at Liberty Station is the MS Walk. It um, registration starts at seven. The walk starts at eight. It's for an amazing cause. Um, I have a very close friend named Gail who has a team called the Jiggy Wiggets. Her husband Michael um, has had MS since 2007. They just did the Greater LA Walk at the Rose Bowl on Sunday. And over the last nine years, um, their team has raised uh, $275,000 to support wow. this amazing cause. So um, you don't have to give any money. If you like to, that's great. But just if you just want to go for a nice walk and support a great cause, please show up at the um, Liberty Station this Sunday for the MS Walk. So that's this Sunday. I think that's the 24th if I go it's by the my mind. It's the 23rd. Is it 23rd? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I love it. Good you stuff. You sure it's the 23rd? On Sunday? Because I'm thinking, guys. Oh, it's Saturday. Excuse me. Oh, there's Saturday see? the 23rd. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, good thing we yep. confirmed there. We got listeners going, hey, I like that idea, Dina. And sorry. they're thinking Sunday. Sorry. They couldn't do it. Yeah. But now they can do it because it's Saturday the 23rd, 11 o'clock down at Liberty Station. I'm sure No, no, no. It's, it's Saturday the 23rd. Registration starts at 7. The walk starts at 8. Oh, okay. All I right. Somehow, why did I hear 11? I don't know. I guess that's what we were talking about sleeping in, Kyle, right? Yeah, I mean, that's what time you normally roll out of bed, right? Yeah. So let's talk about, we know the heat outside. We yes. live in one of the most beautiful places in San Diego. It's been heating up. It was crazy today how hot it's been this week. And you being one of the top real estate agents in San Diego, me doing a ton of the mortgages, have you noticed how crazy it's getting in the real estate market? It's definitely heating up. Yeah, I mean, this is the time of year where... There's a lot more people looking to move around. So whether they're moving up to their bigger home, they're moving down to a smaller single story home, you know, like an older guy like you needs to do, or it's just somebody buying their first home. This is the time of year when people make that move because they're thinking, you know, summer's coming up. Let's make a move this summer. So they start looking in the springtime. And theoretically, I mean, if you put a house in escrow today, you know, most of the time you're looking at 30 to 60 day escrow. By the time escrow closes, it's summer. And so it's perfect time. So this is really when we start to see the market heat up. We see a lot more homes coming on the market. We start to see a lot more buyers looking. Um, the earlier part of the year, so the spring season, we tend to see a lot more relocation buyers. So people coming in from out of state or, you know, even other parts of the state because uh, they got to plan their moves a little further in advance. And then the deeper we get into the season and, and closer into summer, we start seeing more of the uh, local relocation. So people moving from, you know, the East County area to the beach area or North County to South Bay or whatever the case may be. But this is definitely that time of year where things really heat up. Yeah, it's it's definitely going to be a much busier spring than we've seen in a while. Um, based on what I've seen so far with your team and other people out there, it, it's lots of buyers. And here's a tip. And this is what I'm seeing. I'm starting to meet with a lot of young people, kids born 1990, 91, 92, right? Our kids age, Dina, and their parents are telling them, look, you better buy a place because when rates do go up and prices continue to rise, you're going to be disappointed that your friends who did the smart ones got in while it was still there because they remember like in 1973, my parents bought in Santee for $22,000, a four bedroom, two bath, brand new house. And people thought they were nuts. And you look back, it was one of the best investments my parents ever, ever made. Um, I know myself in the early nineties, I, I bought a home in Claremont for $150,000. You know, we were very young. People thought we were nuts. Best investment we ever, ever made. And as Kyle's bringing up on the site here, rents continue to go through the roof. Everybody's telling me, Jason, my rent went up 400 bucks this month or, or this year, right? $400 a month. They got raised within a 12 month period, Kyle. So what do you say about that for people renting? Yeah, I mean, the rents are just been astronomical. So, I mean, over the last two years, we've seen rents grow over 10% countywide. 
I mean, they're growing as fast, if not fast, as housing prices are. And I think people are seeing that. They're not accustomed to rent raising every single year like it has been, but that's just kind of a sign of the times. A lot of that has to do with the fact that they're building newer, nicer, more amenitized buildings, which people want. You know, these old 60s, 70s buildings, they might have a pool. They might have like a gym with a bow flex in it or some little like one-stop shop gym, but people want more. I mean, the community I used to live in over here, um, Costa Verde, I think there was eight spas, five pools. There was an indoor movie theater, an outdoor movie theater. There was a full legit gym with like 20 treadmills, free weights, everything. There was... uh, racquetball there was tanning booths there was a spa like in a freaking apartment complex that's crazy but people want that now i mean it's almost like living in a resort and i think there's you've seen a shift in demand which has increased rents overall because people want these crazy price you know two thousand one of the guys in our office just rented a one bedroom for 2700 bucks a month and that kind of pulls the bottom up with it so even those older 1970s buildings with a pool and a Bowflex, their rental rates are going up because of the top end going up as well. So if rents are going up... And prices are going up, which end of the equation do you want to be? Yeah, where do you want to be? Do you want to be the renter who's having to pay more every month? Or do you want to be the owner who's paying the same amount every month but watching your value go up? And what right. end of the equation do you want to right. be on? No, Monopoly says you want to be one of the owners. You want to be you know, charging every rent as they land on your places, on your, you know, your spot. Uh, rent your houses, rent your hotels. And that's that's the key. That's how you get ahead. I was meeting with a young couple yesterday, and these are things that, Kyle, your team does really well. You've got a bunch of great agents. will help first-time buyers kind of walk through the process. My team at Team Home Loans at you know Branch Energy One Lending, that's what we do. We sat down with this couple last night, very young. He had like a 780 credit score. She had no credit, zero credit, because she hadn't done anything. So we made a few suggestions on what to do so that within 30 days, she'll have a credit score and they'll be ready to buy. Right. And they now know here's how much they needed. They needed basically 3%. They need about 15 grand, which they had saved to purchase a place. And that way you can get into a $300,000 place with, you know, 15 grand all in. And people don't realize, you know, there's opportunity out there to do that. And if they never at least start to make a plan, they're always going to be chasing behind. Right. Even if you find out, okay, I'm not ready today, but now I have a 12 month plan that if I put in place and do some certain things, I'll be ready next year. You know, and that making a plan is, I think, the biggest thing that I've seen you succeed in doing is you had a plan and you started and you focused and you stayed on that. And so many of their people just live day by day. Right. And then they wonder why they haven't changed. Like we talked about with Dina on, wait, if you live day by day and you don't do anything different, you know, you're not going to change physically. It's the same thing financially and setting up in a home ownership is you need to make some change. You need to sit down with professionals that know um, how to make that happen. And that's what the whistle team does. They'll sit down with you, teach you how to be a first time home buyer, teach you how to be a move up buyer, teach you how to get top dollar for your house. They got, you know, Brian Cokey, Kochi. I, I know he's messed up Brian's name. He's sitting here, but he takes amazing videos and pictures of people's homes. I've seen some recently. I'm just blown away. Some of the listings you guys put out, Kyle, it's amazing. Yeah, it's good stuff. Again, if you want to connect with us here at Whistle Realty, 619-663-7355, 619-663-7355. Jason, one of the biggest mistakes I see people make is that they want to wait until they find a home to talk to a lender. Um, we met with a couple the other day, nice young couple, and they let us know this is how much we can afford per month. And the number was like 4500 bucks, And they had in their head that they could only afford a home around $500,000. When we actually broke it down to them and let them know with a 20% down payment, 4500 bucks. I mean, these guys, they could probably get up close to eight hundred grand wow. to have that $4,500 a month They're, they're doing so well financially. Yeah. There's people that you know sell themselves short. It's one of the biggest mistakes you can make when you're thinking about making a move is to wait to talk to a lender. Um, Like you mentioned, you met with a couple recently and they needed to do some work on their credit and you were able to do that so that you could put them in a position to buy. People avoid talking to a lender because they're scared, but lenders are not going to hurt you. They're there to help you, especially somebody like Jason with Team Home Loans. He's been in the business 
I mean, longer than most of the world's been alive. <laughs> I mean, he knows the ins and outs. He might have invented credit scores. He's been doing this so long, but he knows credit scores inside and out. You want to meet with him first because he can help you get that credit score dialed in. Believe which, it or not, when I started, there wasn't credit scores. See, you know, the banks fact, did not use credit fact. scores. See, I didn't invent did. them, but Jason I, but I know them pretty well. Jason invented credit scores. It's, I didn't invent them. I'm yes. not Al Gore. Hashtag I didn't invent Jason internet. invented credit scores. I did, but I was li- like Al. I was around when they did the internet. I was around when the credit scores kind of came up and, yeah. and banks but, were using But, you know, them. when somebody meets with you and you can help them get everything dialed in, you know, increasing that credit score by just making one or two small little tweaks do a couple things. One, it can open up new programs to them that maybe weren't available to them before. And two, it can ensure that they're going to get the best interest rate possible. And getting that best interest rate is going to save them tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars over 30 year you know, life of that mortgage. So if you're thinking about making a move, whether buying a bigger home, smaller home, moving around, give us a call, 619-663-7355, 619-663-SELL. Love to get you connected with Jason and his team. And if you need some help with your health, your wellness, your fitness, we'd love to connect you with Dina over at Tone Fitness, 619-663-7355. Thank you so much for listening to Whistle Wednesdays. We'll talk to you next Wednesday, 7 p.m. Thank you. Can you blow my whistle, baby? Whistle, baby.